What's up? Hey guys, it's Ivan. In this video, I want to show you how to create an image gallery in Unbounce so that it looks something like this when clicking a button. You will have an image or whatever it is you want and then you can go on to the next slide or the previous slide and whatnot. Now, this is not the best image gallery. It's not the fastest. But as Shrek says, that'll do, donkey, that'll do, this will get the job done for you. So let me show you how to do that on the other page where I didn't create this uh, image gallery. And let's start from scratch. So the first thing we have to do is add a button, okay? Any button will do. You can write whatever you want here. Maybe write something like, click me, right? So. Maybe if you're a photographer or you are a real estate agent and you, um, you know, these image galleries are especially important for you. Um, you can have a little headline up above saying, check out my work. And then, you know, a little button saying, click me. So we could do that. You know, let me increase the size, make it as presentable as possible. There you go. Boom. A nice big click me smack dab in the middle of the page. So now what we have to do is add something called a light box. A light box is this little, thing that's going to appear, this light box that's going to appear uh, on the screen in front of the user showing your images. So let's show you how to do that. So on the click action here on the button, you're going to select show a light box. You don't have any light boxes. So observe your tabs here. You have page and you have form confirmation dialogue, which is like a thank you page, nothing else. However, now that we've created a light box or now that we've you know, decided we want to show a light box, we have to create one. So I'm going to click create. And now you're going to see a light box tab. You click on that tab, you customize the page. So this is where you're going to add your images or whatever other content you want in your image gallery. Or if you want to treat it like slides, maybe you want some text here. So let's say we're going to add an image. Let's go to splash. Let's pick something like this, or really it can be anything, but I'm trying to pick something that will have roughly the same dimensions, like roughly the same uh, height to width ratio. So let's say scale image. I'm going to put that here. Now, if you want to adjust um, the size of this image, I, re I recommend checking out my unbounce video on adjusting image sizes, but um, Basically, you click this little lock icon here, and then if you want to adjust the page, you can you know, drag this out or in, and I'm gonna put this back to 840 as it was, or you can adjust this here. So if I remove the image, you can adjust it like that, okay? So that's how you adjust the light box, but let me put it back here where it belongs. Look for the two green lines. That means that the image is perfectly aligned. There you go. And there's your first light box. Now you might want to add some arrows, right? So we can add light box buttons. Okay. So we're going to add the buttons here. They're basically buttons. Okay. Um, now there's not much variation that you can do here. So what I'm going to do is just add a little, you know, you can add maybe something like this, which doesn't look too good. So you're probably better off sticking with something like that. Now, the most professional you can make it make it is by increasing the corner radius, making it circular. Um, let's make this size 30. And let's make the this one a bit smaller as well, maybe 70 by 70. And then we could put it in the middle. And then there's that. Okay, so you can make it red. Or uh, if you've seen my unbounce videos, and you know how to customize these things, you can change the color here. So that's the color of the background and that's the color of the text or this little arrow. Simple as that. Let's keep it as red because I think it actually fits pretty nicely here. So now that we've done that, we need to send this to a different light box. So as you can see here, it already pre-populates for us light box two. So we'll select light box two, edit light box, and now we add the image here. So let's add another image. Same thing, let's pick something out, nothing too fancy. Let's say this. And you're going to follow the same process, kind of make it fit in this, um, in the dimensions you're given. 
It's taken a while. Any second now. Okay. I'm trying not to pause not to pause the videos in my videos to make it as natural as possible. Because when you pause videos too much, you know, it seems a bit unnatural at some point. So I'm just trying to make it like you literally watching over my shoulder. I personally prefer that when I watch videos. So I'm trying to replicate that. But um, so here we can adjust this as well. We can make it fit our light box. Eh, there you go. Okay, so that's uh, not good enough. Okay, let me just um, let me just adjust the image here. Not good. There you go. Perfecto. Okay, great. So we've done that. Let's go back to Lightbox One. At the top left is your navigation. Go back to Lightbox One. We're gonna copy that. Go back to Lightbox Two. Paste it. Now you can't uh, paste it into the exact same spot. So what I like to do is look at the dimensions. So it's 753 from the left. Okay, that's where this button goes. So we're gonna do the same thing here. 700 close 53 okay and now this is in the exact same position as this okay exact same um, now you might also actually want to put backward arrows so we're just gonna do that and then change the direction and then we could do the same thing here and then just center it and there you go okay so so you get the idea um, we can do one more just to show how this is done, but let me go back to this one. So don't forget you have to label the buttons as well. So we want this button when clicked to go back to Lightbox 1, right? Because that's the first slide. And then this one should go to Lightbox 3. So let's do one more. So we're gonna create Lightbox. And now it's gonna say Lightbox 3. We click on this, again, add an image. Um, let's add anything, just the first one here that I have and put that there. I'm going to, again, try to squeeze it in here, make it fit perfectly. Looks about right. Looks about right. I'm gonna keep that, not to waste too much time, but let me, let me see if I can, yeah, I'm not gonna do that because it's going to paste them at the same spot. So I'm just gonna do this, go here, select 753, center it, and then do the same thing for this one. Center it, and now you're done. So um, for this one, you you have to make it go to light box two, and for this one, go to light box or light box one, right? So now that's it. Okay. So this is how you create your gallery, uh, your image gallery. So if we preview this, let me show you what it's going to look like, and you should be good to go. So this is the cool little section with tabs we made in the last video. Make sure to check that out if you haven't already. But let's look at our gallery. So a nice little click me and boom, okay. So not ideal, like I said, it's not the fastest, but it is there, right? It does get the job done and it looks pretty good actually, to be honest. So even though we kind of really, oops. Oh, okay, we didn't, we didn't set um, Lightbox 3 for that one because we didn't have it yet when we set that button there. We didn't have it yet, so we didn't put it. Um, but despite us kind of really, how do, how do I say this? Customizing our buttons, which aren't supposed to look like arrows, right, on a slider, I think it, it did a pretty good job of, of looking good. So um, let me click preview again and just show you. Cancel. Let me show you real quick, just to make, just to make you see that everything is working as intended. So if we click here and now we go back, now it should work, okay? So that is it. If you guys enjoyed this video, you will probably really like my Unbounce playlist where I cover everything from start to finish, as well as my Click Magic playlist where I teach you how to track your ads because that is imperative if you want to make sales and make money in this business. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video.